In this video, I'm going to break down what I believe to be the best defense in Madden. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of shifts that I could see coming up in the meta as well and just kind of give you a little bit of a defensive uh, video here that can help you get better at the game. Now, if you don't know what my who my name or what I do here, my name is Cody, and basically what we do is I help you become a better Madden player. And honestly, I need help to become a better Madden player as well. And so this has helped me learn more about the game. And I hope that as I dive into stuff, you don't think that this is just me, you know, telling you what to do, but this is me learning alongside of you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I upload eight videos every single day that are designed to basically break down some type of tactic or tip that you can use um, in your own game. So today we're talking about nickel 335 wide and 335 and what you can do and a couple of shifts that I could see um, happening in the meta uh, right now just with where, where things are going um, some of the shifts that are I think are about to happen with some of the coverages and things like that and also some things to be aware of so first and foremost um, this nickel 335 is absolutely incredible it's one of the it's the in my opinion it is one of the best offenses or um, best defenses in Madden and the reason why is primarily because of the personnel but also because of the coverage scheme that you can run out of this so uh, first and foremost you can get safeties at linebackers you see right here I have um, safeties in at every linebacker position and then I have corners at safety so I have really really fast players on the field and they're also going to react better uh, whenever I play pass coverage and the next thing that I want to share with you is if you take a look at my coaching adjustments here I have auto flip on I have auto alignment set to default uh, ball and air defense to play receiver. Cornerback matchups are going to be on balance. Option defense is on conservative. Strip balls on balance. Tacklings on balance. Zone drops. And you can do some different things with this. But this is kind of my general adjustment to start a game. Okay? Now, that being said... Um, the next thing that I want to talk about are my audibles. And so I actually just put a new audible into the 335 wide defense, and that's the Cover 4 Show 2. And we're going to talk about why um, in just a second. But if you take a look at this, I have the Cover 2 Man, the Mike Blitz O, the Cover 4 Show 2, and the Mike Blitz 3. Now the goal here is to basically come out in nickel 335 Cover 4 and then audible to whatever I want to do. And another formation that I'm actually working on kind of under the hood a little bit is this nickel 33 or nickel normal. I think this nickel normal is going to make a comeback um, and I'm going to talk about why in just a little bit but these coverages right here are also really really good to have and let me just it this nickel normal it's not exactly the same as big nickel over G but it's very similar to big nickel over G and you can get into it with really really good personnel so those are some reasons as to why you would run this now I actually have a full ebook on this defense and it actually breaks down um, just the I have one that breaks down just the 335 um, but I have another one that breaks down 335, 4-6, all of them. So if you, all of the formations in this playbook. So 4-6 has been the best playbook all season, in my opinion. And the reason why is just because, again, it's not sexy by any means, I don't think. Um, meaning it doesn't have like the dime 146 or something like that. But it's insanely effective. And the bottom line about defense is your goal is to just get stops. And this is what this does. So uh, anyway, all that to say, I want to dive in here to some setups. But basically what I want to talk about is, again, the kind of the, the philosophy behind it. So the first thing that you'll see here is that you'll notice is I can audible down into this right here. And look at, there's very little movement. You see that right there? They basically just come forward. That's pretty much all that happens. So I can audible pretty seamlessly into, this, into these sets. Now, one of the things that you can probably guess that people are going to do um, if they if they if they start to see that you are in this kind of set right here, is they're going to audible down uh, into something like this. Well, this is where I like to basically pinch my line and crash them out. And what you'll notice if you do that, and if I just basically come down here, I can handle most runs. I can handle most runs with that look. And honestly, I should probably stay in nickel three through five more than I do. Because I can handle most of the running game. I, I truly can. Um, most of the way that people are going to run the ball, I can basically blow it up with my user. So, you know, if they audible down or they do something like this, the one issue with this is the safeties are just really non existent here. But as long as I just come straight down at the line of scrimmage, I typically get really, really good um, defense. Another little tactic, uh, real quick, to stop the run from this formation is essentially you're going to create kind of an even look. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to shift your linebackers to the right. And you notice that this is the look that it's going to give you. And what I like to do is if I have time to just move this guy this way. 
the reason why I would do something like that is because let's say they try to bounce it outside. Well, now I got a linebacker over on that side of the screen that's going to be able to help hold the edge. Now, obviously, in a perfect world, you would bring these guys in um, to make a play as well. But obviously, another thing that you got to realize is that this is more 335 um, wide ish than 335 normal ish. Okay? So those are a couple things about the run. The second, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the cover four defense and why I think the cover four defense, you're about to see a lot of people really switch to this. Um, and the reason why is because it is really, really hard to stop corner routes. But this format or this um, this setup right here does a pretty good job. So I'm gonna go to one of a, a very popular corner route from Bunch Tight End, right? I have an ebook on Bunch Tight End um, that talks a little bit about this corner route. And again, we're just going to, I'm just going to try to, I just want you to watch the coverage, okay? Don't worry about the pressure, just watch the coverage aspect of this. And I want you to watch Gronkowski on the right side. So if you look here, um, I can throw this to the right, but look at that. Look, see how that corner jumps down on that? Outside quarters, outside quarters, I think you're going to see are fairly effective at stopping a lot of what people are trying to do. Uh, right now in the Madden community. Um, a lot of what I'm personally trying to wanting to do and a lot of what I think a lot of people want to do. And you're also going to notice that Cloud Flats um, actually play really, really well. Now, again, uh, let me give you another example of something that somebody might run uh, on you. This is my favorite, or it's not my favorite, but it's one of the most effective plays in Madden right now, this PA Cross, right? Um, now, pay no attention to the fact that the drag is going to get open here for a second. I just want you to watch the coverage on the crossing route. So you see here... The drag's covered. The crossing route, you see that right there? See how the quarter plays it? The outside quarter plays it? Now, again, I'm not, you know, I, I haven't labbed this enough to know exactly what it's going to play and what it's not going to play. I'm just saying what I've noticed is a lot of the cover three uh, beaters, people aren't running them anymore because cover three is kind of not, it's not dead. Um, it's been patched. And it works a lot differently. So now what people are going to is is setups like what I'm about to show you. So they may go to something like like this from Mesh. Like I'm just saying like Gun Bunch in general. But they'll do something like this, you know, where they have, you know, basically these reads on the back side here. So if you watch this coverage, and I just want you to watch how they play. If you take a look at this and just watch this corner route to Brown, you'll notice that this outside quarter zone should should play it all the way. Now, what you'll also notice, and this is even more important, is if you take a look at, let's say you take a look at that same route combination, okay? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hit what anyone would have tried to hit uh, with this. Now, there is a play that you can hit this with, so that is something that you have to understand. But uh, going into this, and honestly, what I would just do is I would just watch the slot receiver, because the slot receiver is going to be the issue. Um, I might even cross man the slot receiver to be honest, but if you just watch Antonio or Chris Godwin here, if I streak him up the seam, you see how that quarter goes with him, right? He takes the play away, and this is a very common concept. A lot of people like to run this. I like to run this because people run so much cover three. I think you're going to notice that cover four is going to become the new uh, meta zone coverage just because I think they play really, really well. And I could be wrong on this, but it, you really want a cover four drop type of coverage, right? But you could do something like this right here where you basically um, are going to run cover four Mabel. Um, so you're not going to have any zone in the middle of the field, but you're going to have pretty much everything bagged on the outside. Now, what I would actually ant anticipate something that would be a, a, a nice defense to run would be something like this right here, where you're essentially, this is this is kind of cover four drop. If you think about it, um, you have two yellows now, and you have your hard flats. I think the hard flats are important because they're going to take away anything hard uh, on the outside. Like, they're going to take away, you know, just quick flats and stuff. But now what you could do is something like this right here, now, this concept obviously would work against it, but if you watch, you're just usering this. You're just usering this, and then you're coming back here, and they're not going to throw that. So, the point being, the cover four defense, I think, started to play around with it a little bit early in the season. Now, I think I'm coming back around to it just because of the how the meta has evolved. Now, obviously, you, you don't just run cover four all game, right? The beauty of this, though, is that it, you can make it look identical to this man defense right here. So I could do something like this, you know, and have a have a basically a, 
a roll coverage on the outside and this is really hard to beat i mean this coverage is really really hard to beat so you mix this in with cover four um the routes that beat man coverage i think they don't really beat cover four very well um and so that's really what you're what you're going to be able to see with this is you're going to find that you're going to get a lot of success uh, just because you know just because the cover four is not um conducive like it, it, it just not i mean you you mix that in with man coverage i think those two can work really well because look what it does to crossing routes like look what that does to crossing routes now i know you know i was out of out of the pocket and everything but the beauty of this is that now and i was running this a little bit in the beginning of the year like i said but now what you're going to notice is you're going to have a lot of opportunity um you know basically to just bag crossing routes like that's what this should do. And if you watch on the outside, you'll see here, watch the crossing route. Watch the crossing route. Right there, he's open. But see how the corner comes down on him? So I think deep out elite's getting better. I think zones get, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But this is a concept that you can play around with a little bit. Now, granted, if you wanted to get the full off defensive ebook and just box everything, um, there's defenses in the ebook that will do that. This play right here could be a nice compliment to that. And we go over this a little bit in the ebook, not as much as I just did, but we talk a little bit about it because I think it's going to shift into something like this. You're going to see this defense right here become uh, very effective. Some people have been running it on me, and I don't know that they were trying. I think they are just kind of throwing some stuff, but it took care of a lot of the things that I wanted to do So on the, on the offensive side of the ball. So if you're watching this and you haven't gotten the 335 wide ebook, that link is in the description. It's just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the entire game. If you would like a free sample of the 335 wide ebook, just shoot me a text message. My number is in the top left hand corner, and it's also in the description of this video. That being said, guys, try out this cover four. Let me know what you think. I'm not, and, and again, play around with it. Play around with it a little bit. I haven't talked a lot about this on my channel, but like with every coverage you run there are th there's a there's an I idea that you have swing defenders and what that means is you could basically do multiple things so like for example i could i could run a quick pressure setup here and then i could basically do something like this on the on the on the right you know essentially cover three cloud i've cover four on one it's basically cover six right turn that into cover six i could do that easily so my point is play around with this a little bit but try this four deep shell let me know what you think of it because i think this could be pretty pretty good um another thing again really quickly is do something like this like do do a defense like this 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 defense i think would be tough because you're going to be able to handle delay fades you're going to be able to handle playmakers you're going to be able to handle crossing routes a lot of things that people really like to do including myself you're going to be able to stop it with just a with, with, with a coverage very similar to that so you have some coverage you have some pressure all those kind of things. So, anyways, let me know what you think of the defense. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And just a quick reminder, if you want to get the 335 wide ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Thanks for your time, and have a great rest of your day.